whole minute, the referee absolutely bottled it at the end of the game. He could have given away uh, that should that could have easily been a penalty. He, I think that's a 50-50 call. I get it that he didn't want to give it. His decision was, oh, Saka was engaging in the contact and he thought it was a dive. But to me, it was a 50-50 call. On another day, I swear to you, we're gonna get that call against us. And if we did, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset. Long story short, I'm pissed off. I'm upset, and I genuinely believe we squandered an opportunity. And I have our defense uh, our defensive errors today is because we did not respect Bayern Munich, and maybe we should have respected them a little more, and we would have played a little bit more pragmatic. But Deo, I know you gotta go soon. So what were you gonna say? I just wanted to I just wanted to talk about the pen really. Everybody's saying it's not a pen, but it is a pen. So let's look at this real quick. This is exactly what happened right at right at the moment. So this is one clear. Go to you see the frames moving, right? Watch Noah's leg as it moves. Three. Watch Noah's leg as it moves. Four. Watch Noah's leg as it comes in closer. Five. This is a different angle. Let's go through this angle as well. One. Watch the movement. Watch Noah's leg as it comes from behind to the front. Watch Noah's leg as it's coming. You see that you see the motion blowing Noah's leg. So Noah is actually moving, and that's the final contact. So that's where he. So, and what do you expect when the player is running and then shifts to his left after pushing the ball? So I went, I went at it from two angles, and I found every frame I could find anywhere. And and the truth is, Emmanuel Noah's leg was still in motion. Now, if Emmanuel Noah, penalty, bro. If, if Emmanuel Noah had stayed, if he had stamped his foot down and Saka's leg had hit him, I agree. But the fact that there's still in three, four frames of the video, the Noah's leg is still dangled and moving forward. Of course, Saka dangled his leg to the right. That's what you do to keep your balance to the left. If you're running, if you're running as a player and you turn to your left, your body is going to, your, your leg comes off the ground. So I just know that, that for me, I think the referee just didn't want to make it a, an issue. But having said that, um, I'm not pissed. I'm not mad. You thought the final moment was a penalty though? It's 50-50. I'm not, like, it, in my opinion, it is a penalty and it should have been at least checked. That's the problem I have is why didn't VAR intervene? Like, even when you look at Martin Keogh, okay, fair enough, he's got an Arsenal by. They wanted Rio to end Ferdinand. the game so quickly. Yeah, that guy Rio wanted to get Ferdinand, out of there. Real Ferdinand, right? The guy who's had an agenda against Arsenal all season, even he was questioning how it's not a penalty. Like, you've got to, you've got to, like, okay, fair enough, some commentary is biased, but Rio Ferdinand has not been biased towards Arsenal all season. Even he's questioning the refs. Yeah. Bro, you were saying about us the other day. Okay, it's a little different. First of all, we're not playing a Manchester United team that we absolutely battered. And number two, we're playing Bayern Munich in the Champions League. This is not a Premier League game. If we would have dropped points in this fashion in a Premier League game, I would have said the title race is done. That's, that's, that's the honest truth. So how are you drawing this comparison? This is a false comparison, my friend. That is just the reality of the situation. You're drawing a, a false comparison. You cannot make that comparison. I think you're absolutely chatting crazy was today, Ryan. I get it, but I think even you admitted it and you sent me a message saying that the title race is over. Personally, Saka should have tried to stay up if he could have. But if he, but if he got taken out, you can't lie. You have to admit it. He got no, taken. No, there was definitely look. There's definitely contact. Like I, like I am dis, like like I said, if it was a clear dive, for example, there was no contact. There was nothing that happened. Then yes, I'm disappointed in Saka. But when it comes to the situation, you can clearly see the leg was there. Yeah, he got taken out. He got taken out. But yeah, guys, why is there only 36 likes in the video? Do me a favor, hit that like button right now. We got 310 people watching across all platforms. Make sure you guys come join us over on YouTube also. But yeah, Souls, I sent you the image. If you can if you can show the image, I would really appreciate it. If you could show that image, it would really go a long way. And yeah, what else is there? Bro, it's annoying shit, man. It's annoying. People saying Foden would have put a top bins. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with that shit. People chatting crazy wise. Right, let me hold on People saying Saka trying to hit the leg. The people are saying Saka's going for the, trying to hit Neuer's leg intentionally. Are they crazy, bro? Uh, uh, percent share on the penalty. I I don't understand how people can say that this wasn't a pen. Like it was literally a stone penalty. Think, do you not think the way he was positioning, him, right? He he had to turn, like angle his body to turn 
So obviously his leg is going to hit Neuer because if it doesn't, he's going to break his ankles. Like, and Neuer's leg was off the ground. It was high. It, it, it made contact with Saka, you know, and then Saka goes down. I just, oh, honestly. And I've never seen someone dive but stay on their feet. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Normally, when you dive, you know, you dive. You don't stay on your feet afterwards. Like, is it only me who thinks that? <laughs> now, do you not think there's an element of 50-50 in that decision? Because there, there is like, I do understand why it's not given. I do kind of get it. Not that yeah, I agree, but, but I do get it. I, I don't know how VAR haven't, like, told the referee to go and have a look at that that the fact that they've like ticked that off or let's be real there, there were so many, they there so many opportunities for them to go look at like Kane's incident they should have they should have looked at it I'm not saying it should have been a hundred percent yo guys he sent me the video did you guys notice Gabriel Magalhaes picked up the ball put it down passed it back to Raya they're saying that should have been given as a penalty do you know what actually um, I've not seen it can you I've, send it um I've just watched that back and I can understand the frustration about people thinking that um, uh, that's a pen. And I actually agree with them. I actually think that that is a pen. Because... Did it happen in the first half? Because if, if so, I was eating. I can't remember. That's probably why I what, missed it. What, um, what I didn't I... realise live um, on the game is that um, uh, Raya um, had already kicked the ball after the uh, whistle blew. And then Gabriel just picked it up. So I can understand why that you know people are pissed about that, um, because I originally thought that Gabriel was giving the ball back to Raya because the referee told him to restart play with Raya, um, but yeah, I kind of missed that. That was mad though. Listen, we're gonna wrap it up here, Matt. You still think we can do it? Honestly. I think our best bet or how we should do it is not go for the win because, like, we Bayern had no fans in the stadium. The, the Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Play, exactly... for, play for penalties. Yeah. I honestly think we should because all of our players haven't missed a penalty this season. They've not missed a penalty. Oh, but we're this sure is Bayern Munich. Be careful. These are Germans we're talking about. Like, <laughs> we've got. That's true. But. Bro, what kind of mentality is that? I just don't like. Man, you have to play for the win. Thank you for watching. This has been Eagle Talks Football. If you enjoyed that video, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out these next two videos right here on each side of me. And of course, you can subscribe right there. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you that you're watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Peace. <laughs>